It's actually kind of creepy out here because nobody else is camping here right now. Desiree's already seen beady eyes in the distance and has just been staring at her. Like, they've been having a stare now for the past, like, hour. <laughs> I will hopefully see y'all in the morning. It's foggy down by the lake. No animals raided our campsite last night that we know of. Not that we left them anything anyways. All that's left out there is my chair. <laughs> but the fog over the lake this morning. So pretty. Did not expect it to be foggy. It's like a full cloud cover today. We're in a sea of fog. The sun is right there shining through. But this place is covered in fog because of the lake. It says we're on a peninsula. It's just, we're, we're covered in fog. <laughs> I'll go down to the lakeside in a little bit here and show you the uh, non-existent view. As you can see, nobody else is camping here. Except for that van over there. We're here all alone. <laughs> very, very scary at night. Desiree was saying that she believes, I mean, I gave her the idea, I was like, it could be a coyote, you know, that she saw. I'm like, but usually they travel in packs, so they're usually not alone. And she said later in the night, she had woke up and she heard them, because I was like, I heard some, like, small sounding dogs or whatever, and I'm like, those could be coyotes. And when she had a middle night, she's like, yeah, I saw, like, ten of them or her ten of them or something like that. I don't know, she's convinced now that they were coyotes. <laughs> so, there could be coyotes at this campground. Don't know for sure, but something to throw out there. Something to be aware of. Um, but, I don't think any of them came to our campsite or anything like that. And I don't think they got really close. They just, you know, when you're alone at night, it sounded closer. <laughs> but, yeah. There are campsites on the inside that don't have, like, the lake area. So those those campsites, they're on the inner side of the loop, and then you got a campsites like ours, which are on the lake. So if there's a lot of people here, the lake's nice, you know, so that you've got like more privacy, more space. I like the sun. <laughs> and then on the inside's nice for uh, security reasons, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Overall. It hasn't been bad. It's been nice that it's been quiet. Like, there's nobody here. <laughs> and so, it's pretty nice. Like I said before, there are people on loop A. But other than that, there's like nobody here. So, it would have been nice to camp on loop A just to have some more people. But even that's not full. But I didn't find any sites over there that I liked. So, so we ended up not camping there. But anyways. Um... Do I recommend this campsite? Honestly, I don't know. As I think it's a really big bummer that they don't offer firewood. Uh, the season is, I don't remember when they open. I think like April or May through the end of October. So they do close for the season at the end of this month because it just gets too cold up there. <laughs> but, I mean, the lake views are pretty and everything. There are a lot of people that camp here like every year. So there's like tradition, but usually during the summer. So I think it's really just kind of up to you and what you want. Like I've said, no firewood, no trash cans. You gotta, you know, have a way to manage your trash and take it with you. Maybe you try not to create trash. I wouldn't camp here when there's nobody else around. <laughs> I can tell you that. It is pretty with the fall colors, but if nobody else is going to be camping here with the fall colors, I would, if you could have like a bigger group, it'd be more fun to be better. But since it was just the two of us, it's a little bit creepy. But a lot of these campsites down by the water, they kind of connect too. So like they're private, but there's like little trails between them. So if you did want a group camp, get some sites beside each other and they connect and y'all can be like together, but separate, you know? So I would recommend that.
also know that I was looking for a place that I could do hang my hammock. These trees are too close together. But yeah, there's too many like little trees throughout that this isn't even a good hammocking camp spot. So that is why I brought my tent. <laughs> Plus once I realized how cold it was gonna be, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna wanna sleep in a hammock. So just to show you, this is where our tents were set up on the tent pad, but look, there's the next campsite over. So if you do want to group camp, you can basically walk through the woods here and you're at the other campsite. So like there's little connector trails between each campsite, but they're still like private. Another thing I wanted to share that I didn't share about is the bathrooms. Um, they've got blow dryers in there, they've got sinks, and they've got a toilet. They don't have paper towels. They do have toilet paper. They don't have soap. <laughs> so definitely bring like hand sanitizer if you come here. Also the toilet is freakishly high. Like it's too high. So almost don't recommend it for that. But the bathrooms are actually pretty clean. There's definitely some bugs in there but they're clean. So the bathrooms are not terrible but they could be better. <laughs> pretty much it for this campsite. I think it's a good spot. Like it would really be nice in the summer and would there be more people around. I would definitely camp here again for that. Um, oh, the other thing to note about the bathrooms, they're only single stall. So each loop has its own and there's only like one women's restroom or one men's restroom in there. They also have showers. That's another thing to note because a lot of places don't have showers. One of the reviews says something about a hot shower. So I guess they have hot water. The bathroom did not have hot water. So <laughs> I don't know if that's different depending on which one you go to or what, but that's just how our experience has been. Goodbye campsite. Off to go hiking now. Where are we going to hike today? Let's find out. So this is a very popular bike place. As you can see, they've even got like a pump and emergency repair station. So that's pretty nice. I did read that you have to watch out for bikes since these are mostly bike trails and people aren't typically considerate. So just keep that in mind when you come here. We'll see how it is. I didn't expect people to be here today because it's so cold, but they're end a weekday. But there's a lot of people here riding their bikes. So, so many options. What to do. So I was thinking about doing the central loop, which is three miles. I think we have time to do all that. So we're here. So the central loop will take us around. We'll get water edge, and then we can go more in the forest and stuff, and then back. So I think that's the way to go. See? And there's where we camped, loop C. So we our campsite was like right there. And then we just drove here, right to here. So like we definitely could have ridden, or ridden. We definitely could have walked, but it's kind of a long, long distance. So, but as you can see, there's a lot of trails here, a lot of options. If you wanted to, you could definitely eat here. There's grills too. I do wonder if the water is up higher during the summer. So our first little jut off where you can go down and see the view a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way down. That's where we started, way over there. 
I was wondering what this plant was because they look fake. They do not look real. But now we know it's called a ground pine. But like, when you just glance at them real quick, they look like fake, fake plants that you buy at the store. <laughs> It's the beach. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can see where the water comes up. So like this, I think, stays a beach, basically. And then the water comes up to here. We were here a little bit taking photos and the wind just picked up and it's been so cold. <laughs> but we are headed back now, back up the trail. We're actually gonna head back to like the way that we came because the loop is like three miles round trip and we're only one mile and a tenth in and we're running out of time. So instead of continuing on, we're gonna take the trail away all the way back the way that we came. So we're not doing the full loop, I'm sorry. <laughs> But we're gonna head back so then we can go and eat pizza because we're really excited about that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the beach at the campsite where we stayed. But of course it was closed. But I think that's the beach area. So we would have exited that way if we had done the whole loop, but we didn't. So we made it. We didn't even make it to this trailhead. So we are around here somewhere. When we turned around, probably about here. So there's already more cars here than when we left. And it's about 2.30 now. So on a weekday, on a Thursday. So to give you any idea, this place is uh, very popular for bike riding because I don't think there's really anywhere else around here to bike ride. I've seen quite a few hikers, so you can definitely hike, but you definitely have to watch out for bikes and kind of jump out of the way when they come. <laughs> Okay, we just got done eating at the Firehouse 17 Pizza and More, and it was really good. And got some leftovers to eat later. <laughs> and now we are off to see if we can find some souvenirs somewhere. They don't have a whole lot of gift shops around here, and some of them seem like they're just seasonal. Like I said, we're here kind of out of season, so this trip is not like the most ideal, but it's still nice because things aren't crowded. But that pizza is really good. Definitely recommend this place. And all this info of everything will be in my blog post, which is linked below. So I also finally got to ask a local how the lake is pronounced because I meant to ask at the visitor center, check-in center, whatever, for the camping ground, like the campground, but there wasn't one. So it's not like I could ask anybody that worked there because they didn't exist. So finally at this restaurant, found a local that works there and I asked him, I was like, how, how do you pronounce the name of the lake? Cause I need to know. Cause there's like so many ways you can pronounce that word. But he said it is pronounced should too. Since it's cold out, what better way to spend our time than getting ice cream? So we are going to Blazing Scoops Ice Cream Shop because it's like almost across the street from Trail Fall. <laughs> So 
there's a little platform here. The graffiti is ridiculous. I've never seen so much in my life. We're trying to figure out where we camped because it was somewhere on one of these peninsulas here. <laughs> one of those is Jackrabbit Mountain. I don't know which. It's hard to tell because they don't really look like mountains anyways. <laughs> But this is Chateau Lake. Well, I know that's how it's pronounced. The one funny thing about this spot is coming up. It said uh, no painting allowed. I think it's a new sign. I guess because like the amount of graffiti here is just insane. I mean, look at this. Okay, so now we begin our ascent up the graffiti stairs. Oh wow, there's more view over here. I don't know why I didn't think of that. There's, oh, this platform goes all the way out and over, and that one goes up higher, and you really do get a 360 view. This is really cool. Okay, let's go down here. That we came up. It's a lot of steps. <laughs> it is a climb, but it's well worth it. The view is amazing. So our plan was to be here for sunset. As you can see, we're here a little too early. Guesstimating it's gonna be another like hour or so till sunset. So being the crazy people that we are, we're gonna stay. <laughs> so we're gonna go back down to the parking lot and play games until it's time. <laughs> Cause we had nothing better to do. We didn't play games last night, so. Back down we go. The only downside is then we have to go back, come back up for the uh, sunset. We gotta climb all these steps again. That's gonna suck. Yeah, now's not the time to go to the car. <laughs> <laughs> we might take it off with them. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not how we intended on going down the mountain, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> if we, if we, someone sees us dangling upside down. <laughs> That guy just said he didn't know what he's doing. <laughs> just like to point that out. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is so nerve wracking. <laughs> in the spot very well worth the visit as you can see you see beautiful views the graffiti is annoying but what can you do i don't know what started that trend why that's like that here but it is unfortunately and then um saying if you're gonna be here for like sunset i think it's perfect sunrise i don't know haven't been here but i feel like sunset would be better than sunrise here just because of how the mountains are shaped sunrise rise more in the like high mountains i don't know uh, i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video here because all we're doing now is driving home so <laughs> we got like a three hour drive so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you all next time